Uh, first of all, we'll just start with, uh, with with James Forrest then, John. Obviously, his testimonial coming tomorrow. What What's your connection like with him? And what can kind of your your first memories and your fondest memories of, of James? Um, obviously, I've got a good relationship with him, having worked with him for a long time and known him a long time. Um, but again, I think everybody knows the type of character James is. James is. He's a very quiet, very humble guy. You know, for someone who's achieved so much in the game, you would you would never know it. You know, speaking to him, he would never mention it. He would never big himself up in any ways. He's, he's got a lot of humility about him, and I think that you know, is the kind of the the when he's grown up, the people he surrounds himself with, the family he comes from. You know, that's that's his nature. But in terms of you know the way he works, he's such a professional guy. He's um, in here first, one of the first in every day. He makes sure he does everything properly. He makes sure he's ready for games and training. And, uh, and that's why he's had such a, a big career and, uh, and been at this club for such a long time and had great success because he does everything properly. You know, a lot of people don't see the, the work that he does and, and what he does behind the scenes, but, you know, he's a hell of a professional and, and one that only the young guys can, can learn from and look up to and, and try and achieve, you know, half of what he has because he's been a great servant, you know, such a great guy to work with. Never had a, a bit of trouble with him at all. He puts everything into it. Um, and in terms of what he's achieved, you know, in terms of medals and trophies and awards, you know, he thoroughly deserves, but certainly the game for him tomorrow night, it'll be a great occasion for him to be, I think, every day to come together and, and really recognise, you know, what he's given Celtic because, you know, he steps away from it and he goes in and hangs up his boots, you know, and I think 10, 20, 30 years' time, people looking back at the the names on the list of the legends of Celtic and they'll, they'll realise how, how, how big a player he was and, and what he achieved was, was certainly greatness. Yeah, so John, I mean, you know Celtic as well as anyone, and he has so so many appearances, goals, trophies. You really think he is one of the, the modern-day great Celtic players? Yeah, I think he is. You know, I think sometimes, you know, guys coming in from, from other countries and can sometimes, you know, feel a bit sexier at times, but in terms of what James has produced year on year and the the, the, the kind of time he's done doing that because not many people stay at the you know maybe this club or at big clubs for for such a long time you know it's a, it's a hell of a lot of work you know they come for a few seasons they might move on they maybe have a dip in form and you know, don't quite get back to the heights that they did before but you know James has been very consistent you know there's maybe a couple of seasons in there where he's maybe not played so much maybe through injury or something but in terms of the consistency and and, and the amount of medals and trophies he's won on a regular basis you know, it's up there with the very best. So uh, I'm so happy for him. He deserves us um, because, as I says, he, he never hogs the limelight. He doesn't want it. He just wants to work hard and uh, and be part of a team. Um, but certainly, as much as a competitive game for us, we'll be a friendly and a testimonial. We, we'll go in, it'll, it'll be competitive for us in the nature we play it. Um, it'll be really nice and special for James and his family to, you know, probably get the recognition that he thoroughly, thoroughly deserves. Uh, just finally for me, John, as well, you're obviously one of his coaches. Do you feel that he, he can still have an impact this season in the team going forwards? Yeah, yeah, 100%. You know, I think in terms of the, the type that James is, he's, again, when he's playing, you know, it's great. When he's not playing, he's certainly pushing the guys who are in front of him and it makes them better as well. So he's certainly much a big part of the team. Um, he will be, you know, going forward. And, you know, James, as I said, because he's been so professional, um, he's still in very good shape and he's still able to produce um, you know, great moments. So it certainly will be an important player for the for the group moving forward. Just on that, do you think the arrival of Brendan Rogers will kind of rejuvenate James as well because, you know, he, he's worked with him before, he had a lot of success under under him before as well. Can you see that in him already as well? Yeah, I think that's, you know, not just James, but I think that'll be the case for, you know, a few bodies, a new manager, new set of eyes. Um he sometimes looks for different things, you know, and the fact that James knows Brendan already he knows the expectation, he knows what Brendan's looking for. So um, certainly there's been, you know, where a lot of the players are obviously out to prove themselves to the new manager. Um, but James, in terms of, from the manager's point of view, he knows what James is, you know, exactly what's what he's capable of. So in terms of James having to prove anything, I don't think that's the case. But, you know, it's, once the games get started and you're trying to get in the team, then uh, they'll all be working to try and be part of that. And James very much will be... One of those guys, we've got a lot of wingers in the squad, a lot of quality there. So, again, they'll be pushing each other and, and hopefully for the team perspective, that'll be a good thing. Just in my general uh, sense, John, do, do you um, do you see you know the, the, the opportunity to hit the ground running? Has it been a kind of seamless transition with the new manager coming in, given everything he's done before and, and he knows you and the, 
a lot of other staff and players as well. Yeah, I think in terms of the kind of processes of thing, it's been pretty pretty easy for us. You know, I've worked with him before. I know his his expectations. I know in the main how he works. Um, a lot of the guys here, even in the background, have, have, have been here in his time before, so they knew the expectations of him. Know what to expect. You know, he's very high standards and. And we'll continue to deliver that. Um, but on the other side, I think the players, who obviously the majority of them haven't. So, you know, in terms of the the training and the way we've worked, you know, Bren's had a couple of little things in there. In terms of the general style, he'll, he'll put his own stamp on stamp on that alongside, you know, the the good things that have been part of the previous seasons in terms of bringing success. Um, and that's what we've been mainly working on. You know, in terms of the fitness and the, everything's been really important. But you know, there's a few kind of tweaks tactically and in terms of different things we'll do at different times which you know we've been trying to work with the players on and I think game by game and training session on training session you know you're seeing that develop and that's very much how Brendan will operate that we can work out you know different systems at times different ways of working um, and that's been the one where the players have spent a lot of time on so again that takes time there's challenges with that um, I think in the, the first game there was especially in Japan there was good moments that we've seen what we're looking for there was other moments that naturally when you're not used to doing something you know, there's, there's bits to be worked on and I think game by game we've seen it kind of progress to a point at the weekend there especially first half we've seen you know lots of positives in the game against Wolves lots of chances and opportunities to score and we, reality is we should probably been maybe 3 nil up at half time so um, the signs are good everything's moving in the right direction and that'll be the case just you know keep building the things as we move forward What was your initial reaction when you found out that Brendan was coming back to Celtic? Um, again, it's probably became a little bit out of the blue. Things happened very quickly in terms of, you know, obviously Ange um, deciding to move on. Um, and, and as always, there's that kind of kind of era uncertainty at that point, you know, with the club and what kind of direction they're going to go, um, who's going to be the new manager, what's the setup going to be, you know. But I think the club, you know, moved really swiftly on things, you know, in terms of because these things, you know, especially when they come out of the blue a little bit, they can take time. Um, but it, it just shows you the kind of behind the scenes in terms of upstairs, even. With the club, they're kind of well prepared in that respect. You know, they're kind of always prepared for what might happen, and you know, they move swiftly to get Brendan in, which has been terrific. You know, in terms of bringing a, a manager of his caliber in, you know, off the back of you know a really successful period again, um, has been great because again, he's coming into a place he knows. You know, he recognises what's been achieved in the last couple of seasons, and he'll he'll try and develop that and, and move that on further again. So. I think it was a big boost for everybody, you know, again, for some of us, knowing who's coming in and what he is. But again, for even for the players' perspective, you're bringing in such a high, you know, calibre and quality of manager, which um, is going to be good for the players as well. So it's, it's been great for everything, uh, for the club's perspective, but also for, for everybody in-house also. And you mentioned, Ange, there, it was heavily reported he was looking to take you down to Tottenham with him. Was there any truth in that and were you approached formally at any point at all? Listen, we obviously in, in that period, um, Ange moved on, had a great working relationship with him. Um, we worked really closely together, got on really well. You know, we had discussions around that. Um, at the same time, then obviously the, there's two sides to it. There's the stuff at Celtic's end in terms of staying here, but you know, at the time there was there was no clear um, idea of who the manager was going to be. You know, when it first broke, so you know, I was kind of in a position of decisions to make. Um, but obviously, as I said before, when the the club moved quickly to appoint Brendan, then you know, um, things started to become a bit clearer, you know, and obviously the decision was made for me to stay here and be part of to Brendan's team again, which, you know, I'm delighted to be part of, you know, I've obviously worked here a long time, um, I know how the place operates, you know, great periods of success through here, you know, and the fact that Brendan coming back and me knowing him and the relationship I have with him already, you know, that's that'll bode well going forward and it's certainly something I'm, I'm excited about moving forward. And last one for me, you were in the Champions League group stages last season. What did you learn as a group from that experience and, and what are your aspirations in Europe this season? Um, I think we just got to kind of be the best versions of ourselves and try and, you know, win games and, and play the best we possibly can against the best teams. Um, I think each year you want to try and progress um, and make sure you're kind of moving in the right direction all the time. I think there was last year, if we look at it, it was on a performance level, there were some good things there. You know, we, we, we set our stall to go and attack and be aggressive in the games. We did that. We had opportunities. I think the biggest lesson for the players last year was the, the kind of fine margins at that level, you know, in terms of when you get the opportunities, which, you know, don't come around as often as they do domestically, then it's about being really clinical um, in those moments and taking, taking advantage of the moments that can turn the game in your favour. Uh, and on the flip side, making sure the smaller details in terms of not giving up too much and the chances you give away that you know, they're heavily punished. So 
Um, it's certainly a group who's you know been on the rise the last two two years. Um, the group they've kind of moulded together well. I think we've seen progression through that time. So it's only good that you get the chance to test that against the best, and that'll be the same again this year. And again, we just kind of want to keep taking kind of steps forward in in terms of performance, and hopefully that follows with you know good good results at that level.